Hello everybody, Steffi here from The Makers and um, on this kind of cold, foggy, wintry day I hope you're all cosy and warm, tucked away inside, um, keeping yourself amused and of course you've got an hour of um, hopefully amusement time coming up. I'm trying not to be um, to take to make too many mistakes even though I know they always make you laugh. Um, they always make me cringe which is why I can never watch myself afterwards. Um, but um, if you do want to watch this again you do know this today is the live stream um, 8th of um, December on a Tuesday and of course you watch this again on Thursday at 7 p.m. on our Facebook page The Makers with two S's as it says there so you can find us there um, and we've got a competition today and we're making clothes for the McHoggies and um, we're not making all of their clothes because we won't have enough time in an hour but I will give you the idea of how to do it and um, hopefully you have got as far as making um, Heather um, all complete she's a she's a hoggy in the nude at the moment there that's mine she's turned out rather large this third time round for me um, and um, and um, you now can also make Holly because you will have opened your second envelope on the 2nd of Advent and Holly is um, ready to be made. But I'm going to um, have a quick look who's here today so we can start the competition and I'll tell you what it's all about in a minute after I've said hello to people here on, on the comments. Um, so we've got Fanny, hi Fanny and Diane, Sandra, um, Jane, Bridget all the way from Australia. And um, of course, Emma is at the other side of the makers. I actually spoke to Sophie today. So Sophie is, I um, think she's sort of like, as if you've had a baby before, you know, this is the waiting time and you're kind of not, the new stuff hasn't happened yet and the old stuff you can't do anymore. So it's like in between, but she's very well. Um, we've got Alicia there. Hi, Alicia. Um, and let's see who else. Fanny is saying, Fanny is saying hello. Yes, it is. It is Emma. Um, Fanny, um, beat you to that. Um, Julie is there. Rachel and Daniel are there. And who else? Trying not to. Re oh, hi, Michael is there. Carol is there. Hi, Carol. Hooray! No more naked hoggies. Yes, especially in this weather. <clears throat> um, Diana is there as well, and Alex. Hi, Alex. Hope you're keeping well. Um. So Alicia says, I haven't even started one. I am so behind. Starting Heather today, she's still trying to catch up with November stuff as I was doing before COVID hit the house. Oh, well, I'm really happy that you're um, better again. So that nasty, nasty um, virus. Um, Erica says hi. So Erica is there. And an hour of fluffiness. Yes, absolutely. That's exactly what it's going to be, Jane. Um, Serena is there. Hi, Serena. Um, Trisha is there. Um, you're not late, Trisha. We haven't even started yet. And Laura is there. Adele is there. Mel and probably lots of others. If I've forgotten any of you, I do apologize. So today's competition, you can win yourself um, a pack like this. We don't normally sell these on our website. They're they're um, kept exclusive for Create and Craft. Um, I will be going to Create and Craft this Sunday, which is the 13th of um, December. So if you if you want to tune in there, we've got some exclusive fairy kits um, for for them and um, and some lush lush other things. But this is normally a pack that we offer to them exclusively, and um, it has got all the makings of a Christmas tree in it. So I thought I'd share that because that is obviously coming up as a next um, as one of the next. Uh, live streams on YouTube and I've got the dates here in front of me so today is the Hoggies Clothes and then next week Wednesday the 15th we're doing no no it's not Wednesday I know that I know it's not Wednesday sorry Emma that was not even meant to be uh, um, trying to rub it in it's Tuesday the 15th of December we're doing Hoggies Christmas Tree and Presents and um, so this works really well because it's got the brown it's got all the colors for the Christmas presents it's got the green in there and um, that is up for grabs and um, um, the question is so let's just get Holly out so Holly is uh, one of the family members she's the teenage daughter 
<coughs> excuse me, who's a little bit gone off, uh, she's gone a bit off the rails since her dad um, hasn't been at home and her mom's been very busy and um, so she's, she has dyed her hedgehog spikes pink. Now there's nothing wrong with dyeing your hedgehog spikes pink, there's actually nothing wrong with dyeing your hair, right Emma? The problem with hedgehogs is that it's like their, their spikes are like baby teeth, they don't come out until they're ready to come out. So she's gonna have to have that pink um, spiky bit on her head for a little while longer. And, um, and so the question today is that we would like you to answer, to participate in our competition. How is Holly going to hide the, spink, the pink spikes from Homer when he comes home? How is she gonna hide those pink spikes from Homer when he comes home so he doesn't straight away see what's happened to her? Remember, Homer has been away for many, many months. He's coming home for Christmas. Homer is coming up for Christmas. Yay, finally. And um, he hasn't seen Holly for many, many, many months, nor has he seen Huey, his uh, little son, um, nor has he seen Heather, his wife, for many months. But Holly's dyed her spikes pink. So please tell us, how is she going to hide her spikes from her dad, Homer, when he comes home and walks through the door? That would, that's what we want to know. And um, please pop your answer here in the comments. If you're doing this today on Tuesday the 8th, you're in to win um, one of those wool bags. And if you're doing this on um, Thursday, the um, whatever that is, date is, the 10th, I guess, then you, um, is that the 10th? Yes, tomorrow's Wednesday, Thursday. Um, yeah, it's the 10th. Then, or maybe, maybe Create and Craft is then on the 12th, not the 13th. Yeah, I think it is actually. So it's Sunday the 12th, I'm going to Create and Craft, which is December the, the, the 12th, 2020. Um, yes. And um, so on Thursday, obviously, you can win, you're in with another chance to win yourself that pack as well. And then you comment on um, on our watch party um, stream on Facebook. Okay, right. So how is um, Holly going to hide her spikes from Homer when he, when he walks through the door? And um, what I want to do today is we want to make a dress like Heather's. She's got um, it's sort of a bit of a, it's a bit like a party dress. Oh. Oh, it is Sunday the 13th. Okay. Oh, I'm getting completely confused. Okay. Today is the 8th, which is Tuesday. Tomorrow's the Wednesday the 9th. Thursday the 10th, because, oh, that's right. There's two more days. So it's Sunday the 13th. Oh, okay. This is a good start. Right. Let's start by making um, the clothes. Oh, maybe I should just, let's go on the um, overhead ca overview camera and um, just show you what you got in your holly, in your holly pack. Ooh. If you haven't opened um, that yet, or if you haven't watched me on Sunday open this with you. So that also means that this Sunday coming up, I won't be opening, um, I won't be at home to open and to light the candle and open the next pack. But I, I'll, I'll probably take it with me and do it at um, Creating Craft, less the candle. I don't think they'd be very impressed if I light a candle inside. So in, in Holly's envelope, this time round, you got a little a story about Holly. You got her eyes in, in, in the little um, paper bag. You got her fabric piece to make the spikes. Um, and you've got uh, little candy sticks. And the story um, about Holly reads as follows. Rough on the outside, soft on the inside. As with most teenagers, Holly thinks she's all grown up and ready to face any challenge. But more often than not, she comes up against challenges where it is good to know that her mum and dad have her back. Not that she doesn't push the boundaries now and then. Her latest rebellion was her dying, her spikes. Homer has no idea. Her gift to the family is some Christmas tree decorations, little candy cones she has made herself as she is quite a crafty young lady. And um, I've just been um, <laughs> reminded, I'm just going to go on the big camera. So before, um, you might know that Emma is in my ear. Um, she says things very rarely, but um, we've had this total beforehand. We always check in and we make sure we know everything. And for the last um, few days, she's been telling me, okay, when you do the competition, make sure they know what they're winning, make sure how to win it, and also make sure when the cut off office and I said I never forget this now it's three things it's what how and when have I said when no of course not I've forgotten it so I do apologize Emma my brain is like a sieve it it probably retains as much information as a goldfish brain so the cutoff for the competition is 
when I sew the last bit of um, the piece of clothes and I'll let you know when that is, when, mm -hmm. when that is coming up. So you've got plenty of time to pop your answer onto the comments. How is um, Holly going to hide her spikes, her dyed spikes, I should say, from Homer when he walks through the door? Okay, right. <laughs> sorry, Emma. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, I'm going to put all the, <clears throat> the Holly stuff away now. And um, I show you overhead here again what you get in the McHoggy family instructions. So you've got in here, as you as you all know, we've got the template for the for the hedgehog fabric. You've got your special table here so that it um, you know what you need to use for each of the Hoggy family. And then you've got your instructions. And then best of all, on the back, you have got your templates to make. Holly's top, so she wears like a little waistcoat top. You've got Holly's trousers. You've got these here. You have got Heather's dress, which is this one here. Um, and then you have got also Huey's dungarees. There, that's the pattern for Huey's dungarees. And then you have got Homer's shirt, which is, he's got tucked in at the moment there. And you've got Homer's um, trousers, dungaree trousers here as well. So you've got the templates to do all of those clothes on your instructions. And what I'm starting off with today is Heather's dress because it's a really simple one and it's a good one to practice making your little felt clothes for the hoggies. And I've already cut out the template for her dress. So when you look at these templates on the instructions, you always have to cut out two because obviously you've got the front and the back and you need to sew them together. So for Heather's dress, the front, you follow the red line where it, where it differs from the rest and she's got like a, a deeper cut here. And then you've got the zigzag bits here at the bottom. And then for her back, it, it, it rounds off. Oh, there's a little, um, the little cut missing there. I'll put that in in a minute. And then um, you've got the slightly shallow col um, uh, collar there. So my two templates are ready. I will just add that um, little dip into there. Ideally, what you do is you use a separate um, piece of paper. If you've got um, like a, a very see-through paper or if you've got a um, um, parchment paper, maybe you're a professional dressmaker, you know exactly what you need then. And I will show you what materials you are using as well. So <clears throat> in you can get a whole choice of our felt sheets. In fact, I've got two of our packs here at the ready to show you. This one is our rainbow pack. It comes in, in, in this sort of purpley pink, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and indigo. So you've got your seven colors here um, of the rainbow. If, if you like it bright and cheerful, then this is the pack for you. We do sell these colors separately as well, but you can also, and then you get a bigger sheet, but you can get a, um, you can get your pack and that measures exactly 30 by 30 centimeters. So it's 12, 12 by 12 inches. And you can also get your muted colors. Um, and you've got your brown, your off-white, nice sort of um, heather color. Um, that's a, a, a deep red, almost like a maroon color. And then um, a muted pink here, a very pale yellow and a nice, lovely, lovely sort of, um, I think the trousers for Homer would look lovely in that green. So um, that's basically what you've got um, to choose from. I'm gonna stick with the red for <clears throat> Heather's dress. Um, so I'm gonna take out this particular color here. And um, you can see that you can make absolutely lots of clothes from this felt. Now, I, I do love the felt, this felt in particular. It is a thin felt, so it, it has, um, it's, it's really easy to manipulate. It, um, it's easy to sew, um, but it is also super strong. So there's no stretch in it because it's a wool viscous mix. Um, so it's still natural fibers, which um, we've, we obviously feel really strongly about. And it, um, it does make some really lovely um, clothes. And what I love about the clothes, I'm just going to show you this quickly. Let's get Homer down again. So if you look at the, at the felt, it, at, at the pattern, it's dead straight. But when you start um, putting it onto, sorry, 
got to take your trousers off. He's just he's just going behind the changing screen. Excuse me. Okay, there he is. He's still there. When you put the trousers on them, they sort of start to take the shape of the hedgehog. And that's what I love about using the felt to sew with. So the other thing I love is that you don't have to worry about hemming anything because you can just cut the edges and they don't fray. And um, it's really easy to sew and you can also needle felt into it. So to fasten the um, the straps on, I've actually just felted into it. So I didn't have to do um, much sewing with that at all. I just sewed the seams together and um, I just love that sort of, that, that sort of crinkled, um, shapely look that molds around the shape of the of the little hedgehogs and and so you, you we don't need to um, make them in any way <clears throat> um, um, mat um, not matching what's the word fitting because they're actually they they sort of fit they do it all by themselves the felt will just fit around the the um, the shapes um, because that's what the felt does it sort of felt it it um shapes around them so when they ooh, when they when they're wearing it it looks really cute there you go that is homer um showing his um and um attire off of course homer has got um some a kilt that um heather is making for him for christmas so he's he's got a choice of clothes um for when he opens his present from under the christmas tree right i'm going to put him away again because they have not been seen in the same in the same picture um since they, um, the story of the hoggies have been told. Right, let's go overhead again. So this might be a little bit um, like teaching you something you know already, but um, obviously you will be cutting out your shape according um, to the template. I'm, I'm doing this really close in the, in, the, in the edge because I want it to be as economical as possible with as little um, off cuts as possible and I've got I um, don't even know if that will show in that red I've got a very I've got a pink sharpie here let's just have a look oh yes yeah, enough for me to see so use a pen that isn't um, leaving a massive mark um, if you've got Taylor's chalk then you can use that as well I'm sure you are so much better equipped than I am I'm not actually a natural sewer I love sewing by hand but I don't have all the paraphernalia and then you're going to cut that shape out now I'm using these little scissors we do sell them as well I love them they're really sharp um, really easy to use um, for those um, you know that they, they, they sort of tuck away in in your little um, craft um, box um, or whatever whatever you use I'm just cutting that shape out now I'm not forgetting that little that bit there it is very hard to see what I've actually drawn might try a slightly darker sharpie next time. Um, let's just double check. Okay. I think I might make that cut a little bit deeper at the back here. There we go. Okay, so I've cut my um, sh one one shape out. That's going to be the back of the um, of the dress. And now I've got to do the same for the front. And as I said, I'm. I think I'm going to um, try and use a slightly darker sharpie, which I think I put in here. Or maybe yellow. Yellow might, even though it's it's lighter in color, it might sort of just be different. Let's try. Oh, it might be better actually. It shows off a bit more. Just gonna have a look. Yeah, it does actually. So draw around the pattern. I mean, the zigzag at the bottom, you could almost sort of do yourself if you wanted to. It doesn't have to be. It's it's a designer dress, so you can design. There are parts of the design you can do yourself, of course. So cut out um, your felt pieces from the um, felt sheet. That you're using now of course you can use other felt this is I I'm not saying it doesn't work I don't I can't say that it does work either because I'm not using it I haven't used it I just love this wool viscous felt it's definitely the best thing ever okay I made a mistake there already but I can put it right and um, you can um, you can also just sew them close if you're proficient at sewing go for it don't 
you know don't you don't have to um, do this this follow our very basic sewing um, suggestions here if you think you want to make them some amazing clothes then um, then just use all the resources you have got and go for it but if you are somebody who doesn't do a lot of sewing then this is the perfect way to dress your hoggies because um, um, it, it definitely works right all these bits are off so now I've got two shapes here and get rid of the rubbish a template <clears throat> put that bit of felt away so I've got my two shapes here now I'm just gonna check in with um, the chat and then we we start sewing right let's have a look so I wonder if um, I'm getting some good suggestions here for what where how Holly is going to hide her dyed spikes um, so let's see So um, Alex says Holly is going to wear a Christmas hat. Yay, a Christmas hat, of course. All, all the time while Homer is there. <laughs> Holly will put on a Christmas hat. Okay, Holly will hide her pink spikes by wearing a large pink flower in her spikes. Ooh, nice, hiding it. Um, okay, this is, this is a bit random, but um, M, um, Bridget says, Emma, I'm still violet. Whatever that means. Um, I'm sure it makes sense to Emma and totally. Um, Katriona says, oh, hi, Katriona. I didn't say hello to you earlier. Ah, I don't think Holly will hide them. I think she'll wear them in full show with pride. Of course, that is possible as well. A bandana that's been knitted setting a new trend. Aha. Um, Holly has asked me to make her a pretty hat. Pink, of course, to hide her pink spikes. Um, Diane says Holly is going to hide her colorful spikes by putting a bright color dye in Heather's shampoo, the washout kind. Aha! <laughs> yes, distract from her spikes. That's a good idea. Trisha says Holly says Daddy, a big boy, did it and ran away. You wouldn't have even you you wouldn't even have noticed if my Santa had hadn't fallen off. <laughs> oh yeah, blame somebody else. That's a good idea. Um, she could always blame her little brother. Mel says she will dress up in a full Santa suit, beard, wig and hat, as well as stomach padding and suit and black boots. He will be so distracted he will not notice, especially if she says ho, ho, ho a lot. <laughs> oh, you're funny, you lot. Holly will hide her spikes because she thinks it's fun to shock Homer after he gets home. She made a beautiful felted flower for her hair. Oh, that's nice, Bridget. Holly will wear her fancy ruffled panties on her head just to make her brother go crazy and embarrass her mother. Well, Alicia, you do know teenagers, don't you? Mm, you've worked with them. I can tell. That's exactly probably what my um, lot would do. Uh, Laura says, become a nun to get the veil. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Julie says, she's going to persuade Heather to dye her spikes pink so, too so that they match. She'll be a mini mum and Homer won't dare to complain. He quite likes them and is thinking of colours for himself. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I want to see some um, rainbow um, rainbow variations of, of, of all the different spikes on your family. Um, Carol says Holly's not going to hide her coloured spikes. She's going to say, Yui did it when I was sleeping. I was waiting to see if she would blame her little brother. Um, that's uh, always a good one. Michael says, Holly will wear a very short skirt. Homer will say, you can't go out wearing that so won't notice the spikes. <laughs> oh, that's a good one too. Holly is hoping her dad is, uh, dad is man, is, uh, ho is hoping her dad, okay, I think what you're trying to say is she's hoping that her dad just won't notice. Okay, I, I, I'm I sorry, Serena, I, I think you missed the word and I'm not, not clever enough to uh, pull it together. Um, but I'm sure you can say it again and I'm sure everybody else has got it. It's just me who hasn't got it. Pauline says, I think Holly will wear a Santa hat to hide her pink spikes. I think the Santa hat or the Christmas hat win, wins at the moment in popularity. Helen says she will tell her dad it's crazy hair day at school and donate some money to charity. Ah, I like that one. That's clever. Um, yeah, what, he couldn't possibly complain about a charitable uh, cause, could he? Um, 
Erica says Holly will not hide her pink um, hair. She will show it to her dad because she loves her new color. Nice. Yes, that's it. Stand up for it. Um, Erica says Holly will not hide her pink hair. She will show it. Oh, no. I've just read that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Told you. Goldfish. Goldfish brain. Um, Bonnie. I did notice, though. Bonnie said, hi, everyone. I'm a little late, but I'm hoping to catch up with the closing. Oh, brilliant. So, Bonnie, if you've missed it, the competition today is, which is completely random. Of course, we don't judge anybody. We don't, um, we don't go by what we like. We pick you randomly out of a hat. Well, not. Not literally a hat. At least I don't think Emma's got a hat. And um, once you've commented, and um, the um, um, the question is, how will Holly, or will she, hide her spikes, her pink spikes, when Homer walks through the door and he'll see that she's dyed her, um, her spikes pink? I'll read one more. And um, Emily says, Holly will be wearing her woolly bobble hat because it's cold and she wants to keep her head warm. Excellent. Okay, uh, Serena, you so Holly is hoping that as Homer is a man, he just... <laughs> Sorry, why did I not get that? That's brilliant, Serena. Oh, yes, of course, you won't even notice. I know. How, who'd ever notice if you, you know, if you've had a haircut or... Men don't notice these things, do they? You could be wearing the same clothes for days on end and they wouldn't notice. They couldn't even... If, if, if you ever went missing and you had, you had to give a description to the police, they wouldn't have a clue what you were wearing on that day anyway sorry getting carried away here i'm not against men by the way right um so um let's keep going cracking here with um i've got my my uh, two parts of the dress all cut out for heather and um i'm going to sew these together now so sewing felt together let's go to the overhead um camera again if you're sewing felt together you always have the choice to you can sew them with a seam and then turn them inside out and remember because it's felt it doesn't fray so you don't have to worry about the seam suddenly giving way because it, it just it just stays as it is you can make the seam a feature as well so i haven't done that so much here um well i have actually with the with the dress because there's not we're not sewing the sides together other than just under her arm, sort of a little bit. But if you, um, with most of the clothes, I've sewn them together and then turned it inside out. But you could have the seam on the outside and make it a feature as well. I haven't done this with the hoggies, but um, if you know the book, um, Make Soft Dolls, that I am making soft dolls, then you know that all the dolls house people in there, they often have the seam on the outside. So I'm going to use a thread that um, you can see against that red, which um, might not be what you want to do, but I'm, I'm going to do that. I love um, the cotton embroidery thread. I love it because it's so versatile, because you can use it um, as a feature, as well as, um, as a sewing thread, because um, the one that we're selling on our online shop is the DMC. There's not, it's just an ordinary DMC embroidery thread. We have different colors. We mainly stock colors that are good for um, embroidering dolls faces so that there's the eye colors and so on. Um, the great thing about the DMC um, embroidery thread is that it is a, um, I just have to remind myself how many plies. It's a six ply. So it means you've got six individual strands all plied together, or maybe it's eight. I can't count. Hang on two four no it's six so you can um you could just pull out a single ply like a single thread can't do this with two um longer um a strand and you could use that as your sewing thread or you could use two plies three plies depending what how, how you want this to be shown off and obviously you need a, a needle so i'm just going to now, the, the, the great thing about these clothes that you're making is that you can actually um, sort of make, because all of your little hoggies will be different sizes, so you can make them fit your particular hoggy. So I'm just going to use this heather I made as a sample here. So if you, if you imagine she's going to have, that this is going to be the front of the dress, and we want her arms, so where we're sewing it up under her arms, we want that to be, it's probably sort of about midway, so you can make the clothes almost to measure. So I'm just going to sew the spits here midway. 
if you sort of imagine you fold this in half then you've got the midway here and I'm going to give this a few stitches back and forth but I'm securing my thread first. You can put a knot on there if you want or just go back and forth a couple of times and that will secure it as well. I'll get rid of that little bit of thread sticking out. And, um, and you're not going to sew the dress up um, at all. You're just fastening these two sides together here midway because there's not going to be much scope of slipping this over Heather if you're making this really tight. So I'm just sewing this up here. And then um, to make it more fitting, so there's sort of a, a bit of a waist um, that could potentially be pulled in, you can, you just, all you do is you go across to the other side in a straight line, if you can manage, like in and out, and gather it. And then you can gather it. So you just go through it and gather it. Might have to um, sort of just get give yourself an, an, an eight where you're coming out of roughly here. So don't don't go off off track with going across. Just gather it. If you're going off the beaten track, you can always retrace your steps. A little bit there and then you um, you gather that in a bit not too much just so that it um, it fits your hoggy just lay her on top that's it you can distribute it better a little bit later on when when you've done your when you've sewn your dress and then sew it um, on to the other side like that go over and round so I'm using this I'm using this yellow thread so that you can see what I'm doing but if you want this to be more vi um, invisible then obviously use a red thread or whatever color um, felt you've got to use a matching thread get rid of that and then you have made the dress almost already so this is what the dress looks like now you can gather um you can gather the um the the front bit in a bit um, you can distribute it more um, later and then obviously we need to sew um, the top together as well in fact when I've done this the first time I've cut it so that the top is still joined I've just realized but that's okay so you can do this either um, inside out or you can do it um, just taking a single thread you can do do it as a feature on the outside if you're doing it inside out you've got to turn this around turns around now or you might like that side better anyway. Whichever way, this is what I'm saying. This, these are designer clothes and you're designing them. Actually, mm, yeah, I'm gonna keep that side. So I'm gonna do this from, so this is now the inside. It, it has now become the inside. Thread your needle. With this with this sewing, they really, it, uh, for you to have the patterns, it's just so that you have a starting point. I, I think um, what's special about this clothes is that there is so much scope. You can follow it absolutely as you, if you want to, or there's a, a lot of scope where you can make it your own design. Um, and I'm just fastening this on here. I've, um, for the occasion of, of sewing these little clothes, I've got my, um, you know, we do the toolbox on the go. Not that you can go very much anywhere at the moment, but they're still really useful for storage. Um, and the um, the toolbox on the go. So I'm actually I've chosen to do an overstitch, but you could also just do a back stitch. So where you go one um, two forward and one back. Um, again, like I say, you can you can um, even decide on your own stitches because you don't have to worry about the seams fraying or the 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 stitches tearing the um, the felt um, seams because it is felt and it's really it's a really strong felt so I'm just going to tidy away that thread and then I'm going to do the other side um sorry what was get what I was saying was that um the toolbox on the go which um is still one of my favorite um toolboxes and I'll tell you in a minute why again I've actually pulled it out and um we've also got this toolbox that has you, where you can fit 14 of these little boxes and 
I, I just I've, I've pulled out all my doll making pa um, paraphernalia um, but it's mainly sort of for dolls houses so I've got all my threads here I'm sorry it's not a very tidy box but it gets used a lot and then you've got I've got my embroidery threads here I've got all kinds of different hair hair um, versions here for making little little dolls house dolls I've got a bit of off cuts here of all the different stockinette colors and, and in February um, 2021 we have a whole month that just de dedicated to doll making I've got some lacy ribbons here which um, I love and then just bits of wool bats for when you're needle felting um, this also works for fairies some of this stuff here so if you're needle felting um, eyes or anything like that I've um, got some beads there and then these are my my two favorite boxes so I've got like little little these are all like card making things and um, you never know when you might need this especially as somebody suggested da 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 Polly will just wear a big flower in her hair like that is that what you meant so you see this comes in quite handy when you've got little um bits and bobs like that so this is the toolbox on the go it comes with um with one side well you can have both sides where it's um all compartmentalized this is actually um long enough if you put a, a ruler in there and you have to sort of slightly bend it but it does fit in there so it, it, it's almost 30 centimeters um well it is probably 30 centimeters but the ruler is slightly longer yeah it's it's over 30 centimeters just the ruler is a bit longer but it does fit if you just bend it in a bit and then um you can have so you have here a long compartment for pens um knitting needles crochet hooks whatever got a slightly bigger one here that fits needles um, sorry, that's not needle, it's a pair of scissors. <laughs> scissors. Um, you can put pens in there as well. Fits pens, so it's quite quite space um spacious. And then you got um six little compartments like that. And um they these don't quite fit our eight by eight um wool mats that come in kits but if you squish it in it fits and um i am actually using can't ever get it out again but i am using a lot um a lot of the time i'm using them to um keep as a pin cushion now as well if i've used them and um yeah because you, you do get through quite a few right sorry getting distracted entirely so you can have your toolbox with um with both sides because it's like a carry handle toolbox oh, i should have brought the whole thing over anyway um i might just do that in a minute so I can show you the full thing and um, a one side can be compartmentalized and they they sort of slide out and the other side can be um, the other side can be um, a a4 just an a4 box which is great for patterns larger pieces of fabric anything that sort of uh, needs a bit more space if you're thinking of in needle felting terms it fits the larger tools like a brush mat um, maybe a large earth mat as we do them in a4 a5 and a6 so you can definitely fit a nice um, a4 into that side as well and um, and you can choose whether you want them to be which side you want on which side you want whether you want the compartmentalized side or whether you like the just a4 or like I say you can have um, either you can have both the same as well right Okay, that's my seam done here at the top. Off my needle somewhere safe. And so now you've um, sewn the sides up, and I'm going to turn this um, inside out. So there's the little dress, and and just even just manhandling it like this, it it's already sort of taking on a bit of a shape. I really love that about these um, little dresses. And then let's, um, you might have to get Heather to step inside the dress rather than putting it over her head because she's got really big head, um, Heather, with that massive hair on her head. So fit it on her for first fitting. Let's see how we're doing. Where's Heather's arm gone there? Put her arm through. And on the other side as well. I bet you never thought you'd be dressing a hedgehog there so there's her dress and um, and if you want to um, if if this isn't tied in enough then um, you could also just find the thread on the inside tie it a bit more put a knot on it that's what I'm saying you can these dresses are this dress is so easy to um, to make it fit better so you can you could um, 
tie this a bit more. You could even cut it and then tie a knot on it if that works better for you. So you can do that for starters. And you could also embellish it. So once, um, like I say, the dresses will sort of fit around your little hoggies. Um, the clothes will fit around your little hoggies. If you like it shorter, then you can still cut it shorter. Everything's still possible. And if you wanted to embellish it, you could. You could put a big rose on there. It's a bit too big, but maybe a small flower. Or let's see what else I've got in there. I've never, you never quite know until you hold it against it what might or might not be suitable. Um, sometimes I cut things apart as well. I think that would look quite nice if I could. Oh, there you go. It's off there. Can put that onto her front. Can glue that on, and that's the only way to keep that in place, I guess. Um, yes. So you've got a whole um, choice of how you might want to make her um, dress her up and make her look a little bit prettier. So if you've got a little treasure box like this, little buttons, little little decorations, then um, they always come in very handy for making um yes little little decorations on her poodle can have a poodle ah, maybe not maybe not a poodle um but all kinds of other things oh there's there's a blue um precious diamond yes so all of that um you can do oh that's the same as what's on this dress so that, that, yeah you know already what that looks like if you've made your um heather um a bigger chest here then obviously that will fill that dress a bit more but that's basically um the dress done so yeah there she is da, da, da. all ready to um dance around the christmas tree so like i say you can shorten it still you can take it off again you can um make it tighter everything's still possible but you've definitely got a, a hoggy dressed in red here and um and remember, all of the heathers will be different. Some some will be slightly taller, some will be slightly shorter, some will, will be fatter, some will be slimmer. Depending on how you've made your heather, that's what she's going to look like, obviously. And um, I really want to show you how... Um, what can I do? Uh, okay, just going to just gonna, just gonna um, set the scene so that you can... Um, so basically, this is Holly. This is Huey. And here we have Heather there and Homer is not anywhere near um, and what we've got new is oh let's just have a look what can I put on there what we've got new uh, oh, you don't know what I'm doing do you but I'm just going to go overhead and I'm just gonna let you read the live stream schedule for the for the next few um, tutorials so make sure you familiarize yourself with that bearing in mind that the Wednesday actually means Tuesday on there and I'm just getting the toolbox so I can show you the whole thing what it looks like when it's put together okay right got it now so you don't I hope you have got this um, in in your head now that schedule Okay, so you can make next um, next week you can make the Christmas tree um, with me. So for that you can win yourself the wool pack, which I have um, shown you here. Still there? Oh God, there! And it comes with all the juicy colors to make Christmas presents, like that. The Christmas presents will be on there as well, so you can make needle felt some Christmas presents. But of course, remember you also got the Christmas. A wrapping paper to wrap all the presents that come in the individual hoggy um, envelopes as well. But what I wanted to show you is this. So this is the toolbox. It's got an empty um, A4 in there and then basically what you do is you got the other box. There. So you've got your uh, compartments there. The great thing is that the lid literally sits flush on top of um, the compartment so there's no contamination if you jiggle it and wriggle it things don't suddenly um, wander from one compartment to the other and then you can fit that in there and it becomes the perfect curry um, you can be on your way you can see exactly what's inside now the idea is to get um, lots of these boxes 
and then you can um, have lots like this is my doll making one I've also got a needle felting one here over there with um, yeah with with eyes and uh, needles and um, glue bottles and all kinds of things that you might need and then you know oh what am I doing today sewing let's get this out oh what am I doing today needle felting let's take this out and then you off you go da, 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 da. Christmas you're gonna go and visit your family right because you're allowed to and um, and then you can take your little toolbox on the go with you and if it gets too much you just take yourself off and do a bit of needle felting or a bit of sewing or whatever you like doing and it's all there and these um, these boxes just sit in there the good thing about this is it's made in the UK so whatever happens you will always have your toolbox on the go and uh, you can also decide whether what you want on one side and what you want on the other side. Right, that was just a slight diversion from um, the hoggies, but it just reminded me because I literally, I honestly just took that box and um, and, and thought, oh, I'm gonna have to get my, my doll making stuff out now. Right, so that was, um, that was Heather with her dress and I'm just gonna quickly check in what, um, what's going on here on the live chat. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm just reading up from the bottom up again. Not never good. Never good. So, um, oh, I think I've gone all the way back to the top. So that's not good. So I don't know if I've made that clear, but the toolbox, you can, you can decide whether you want it with, um, an A4, um, just A4 where you can put an instruction sheet or whatever, or if you want it compartmentalized, or you can have uh, both sides compartmentalized. You can choose that. So, and then you can also buy spare A4 boxes. So if you if you decide to go for, I think that's what I would do. I would get um, maybe two two toolboxes with all compartmentalized, and then I'll get another maybe four of the just the A4, and then you've got all the flexibility to switch it around, one in each hand. Off you go. You're all sorted because the A4 can also take a whole pack of wool. You know, you, because you've got all the you've got the big space, so you can put all the felt and all the wool in there, and you're all sorted. Just let me kit you out, and you'd never. Um, it's not too late to put on your Christmas wish list as well. Right, um, oh, okay, so I'm using the wrong, I've got two computers here and um, I've only got one mouse and the other one is a trackpad, so I've got to scroll down. Okay, one time I went into the services, oh, okay. Uh, uh, okay, I don't know if this is completely unconnected, but Alicia is saying, one time I went into the services in one outfit, came back out about 40 minutes later, Gordon was gripping I took so long, lo long, he never noticed I came out in a completely different outfit I bought. See what I mean? No idea. Don't notice it. I, don't, I genuinely don't think they notice it. Um, them meaning men in general. Very, 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 very naughty of me to be so stereotypical. But I'm sure there are many men who would notice it. Loads of men. Zillions, millions, trillions. But most of them don't. Um... Bridget is having, I think Bridget is having buffering problems. Sorry, Bridget, I hope you, you've sorted it out. It's got to go all the way way to the other side of the world. So it's obvious, obvious that it could be buffering. It's probably got stuck in the fog somewhere. <laughs> um, doing okay in Bristol, no buffering. Oh, okay, see? It's, it's because it's not so far. Yikes, she needs those ruffled these holly hats how embarrassing <laughs> okay oh yes I, well um yeah definitely heather hasn't got any pants on <laughs> you can make her pants if you want to sweden without buffering also ah oh, okay no no buffering in sweden um my team is hoggying the wi-fi <laughs> oh oh dear um, next Tuesday, join us for making the tree and presents. That's right. So don't forget that. Yes, I need one of those to go carry cases for Christmas. Absolutely. Thank you, Alicia. Talking about what you need, what you need is to give us a thumbs up. Must not forget that. And you need to get everybody to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Everybody you know, just say, just subscribe, whether you ever watch it or not, just subscribe. Just say it's a really good, good thing to subscribe to. Um, is this the episode being released, Sean? Um, please, Emma, I've missed a bit. 
Yes, I need need to. Okay, perfect for the Chiron. Yes, yes, yes. I'm having several conversations here. Um, so I don't know, Diane, um, if Emma can help you um, at all because I'm not entirely sure. What have you missed? Not sure. What have you missed? Let, let us know, Diane. Bonnie says, Alicia, I'll message Gordon and let him know. Yes, please. In fact, why don't you all get to message um, everybody's partners and say, I've got a real hot tip. Um, get this. Okay, that's a good idea. And that you do them a favor because they have got the faintest idea probably what to get. They might not have even noticed it's Christmas. Okay, I must stop now. I am really not against men. Can we buy the packs for the Christmas tree? Um, yes, so the pack for the Christmas is not a specific Christmas tree pack, but you can definitely get, um, um, so it takes, uh, okay, I'm going to do this from memory now. I think it takes about 10 grams of forest green, New Zealand. It takes 10 grams of um, of a brown wool bat, and I think I've used um, the country sheep wool bat. Then it takes five grams of red for the, um, the bucket well the nice um, um, whatever it is it's not a bucket is it what is it it's like a precious porcelain thing and then you need uh, wisps of wool to make the little Christmas baubles and then the, there is normally a Christmas uh, star at the top but I've pulled it off um, oh and then whatever you've got left over you can um, of the colored wool you can make different color little Christmas presents it, you'd need very little of that wool so if you had our um, eight color wool um, rainbow mix you'd be fine with that but you need a bit of extra color inside the trees so you don't use expensive it could be white inside it doesn't have to be brown it's just in case a little bit pokes through then at least um, with white um, it's a bit more obvious with brown it isn't um, uh, okay, so, um, oh, oh, Bonnie is sick. Oh, I hope you get better. Um, oh, Betsy says, hello, Steffi. Hello, Betsy. Um, Diane says, thank you, Emma. I'm making pants now. Yes, I'm making pants in a minute. Okay, that is my, that's my, um, clue, pants. I've, cut out the templates for Holly's pants because um, by now you can definitely have Holly already. It'd be a, a bit of a push to have her done because you only opened the envelope um, a couple of days ago, but maybe you have done her. So these are the templates for the pants. Two pants, two identical templates. So now we're going to choose some colors for her pants. If you've got the bright, bright rainbow um, wool mix, then you can use this indigo color or purple I don't really know what color it is one of those in between colors it's not quite indigo it's not quite purple it might also look different on different screens so let's go on to the overview camera again so you obviously need to do exactly what you did before um, if you if you wanted to be sneaky you could double up your felt and then just cut I don't really know why I cut to the same that's really clever right because you need to, of course. No, you don't. If you only cut one, that's fine. You need two of the of the real thing, but you don't need two templates, though. Oh dear. Okay. I wonder how many other people have done that. Okay, let's try the pink. I don't know if that works on purple. Oh, yeah, that works really well. Okay. So I'm cutting. Um, I have to cut two of these of the felt pieces, but you don't actually need two templates because they are identical. So only one template, whereas with um, Heather's dress, you did need two templates. What you will find is with the hoggies, they've got really short legs. And um, and so the trousers um, for Homer and for Heather and certainly for Huey as well, uh, not necessarily Huey. You can turn them up as well, so they 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 each can have a turn up. So I'm using that second template now because I cut it. Might as well use it. Sorry, I think I'm in a bit of a silly mood today. No idea why. Right, Is this done. Yeah. Really nice scissors. I love these scissors. They're so nice and snippy. Don't cut your wire with it. I don't. 
never cut wireless scissors. Okay, so they are, again, they're a really straight shape, but if you look at Holly when she's actually wearing them, um, they've sort of shaped around her slightly O-shaped legs, and I really love that. And um, and she, obviously, she you don't have to have them rolled down at the top, but because she's a teenager, she likes the low-rise trousers. I hate the low-rise trousers myself, but then I'm not a teenager. Absolutely hate them with a passion. I just feel like every time you bend over, it's like a builder's bottom. I hate it so much. But anyway, I'm probably not the right shape for that anymore. Right, so here we go. Two parts on top of each other. And this time I'm sewing them and then I'm turning them um, inside out. So I'm going to use... Um, I'll stick with that yellow thread because that is, is is easy to see on the on the screen. But obviously, if you don't want the seam to show at all when you turn it inside out, then use a more color matching thread like um like a purple or blue, however you see that color. And um, I am I'm I'm always somebody who doubles up thread. But if you prefer sewing with a single thread, there's no rule about that either. Threading the thread. I've, I think uh, people have commented on this before, how I thread my thread. So I'm just going to show you this again. So I normally um, have have sort of the, the thread sp um, spread out there. Then I put my needle on it and I'm, I'm going to fold it around my needle and keep it really tight. So it makes a nice, neat, tight thing. And I, I squish it ever so slightly sideways. And then I just um, guide it through the... Um, <laughs> work much better when I don't explain it. So this way you don't you don't have the end. So I'm I'm actually threading the folded thread. Um, that's um, so yeah, that's how I do it. Does that make sense? Okay, happy to show you again in a minute because I think I need to re-thread that thread. So I'm not uh, making these trousers tighter around the waist because if you roll them um, down, then obviously they 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 sort of um, become tighter. But if you want to make them tighter, more fitting, and you don't want to roll them down, then you can just do what we did with Heather's dress by just gathering them. And this time I'm actually going to do a proper stitch. So I'm doing a, a stitch, like a back stitch. So I'm sewing, going forward two and back one. And if um, one trouser leg is slightly shorter than the other, don't worry, just even it out later, just cut it shorter. Is this easiest if you ever want to be a seam seamstress just use felt it's so easy to sew with you can make your whole clothes out of felt that's an idea yes but definitely they're absolutely great for little hoggies so and um and those of you who wondered um about getting your little kilt in in the um christmas edition of the hoggies we're releasing the Hoggies um, in, Janu in January 2021 as a non-Christmas version. And of, obviously you're not going to get the um, the extra bits in there because it's a non-Christmas one. Um, but if you're wondering about how to fit the kilt on Homer, it literally is the right size of fabric that just wraps around him and then you just use your magic um, no-sew um, brooch pin to use it as a... Oh, what's that word again? What is that word? That Scottish word for the for the pin? Is it just is it just called kilt pin? Probably. <laughs> What's the word for it? And then you can do the pouch as well. The word I've forgotten as well. Um, oh, that was just the right amount of thread. Okay, rid of that. And then you have to repeat it on the other side. I'll show you again how I thread my needle my single ply out here so I've got my thread I, I literally let the needle fold it around around the needle and then I, I've got my doubled up I can't I don't know if you can see this but there's the doubled up thread and then that just fits through the needle um, and that's it it's a sporin that's the word thank you sporin Okay, and now I've got to match up this side. I'm definitely my, I, I definitely wouldn't be a good seamstress. I don't think I, I'm precise enough for that. So I'm just doing a few stitches back and forth. In fact, I started out by going over the top and round. I'm just securing the thread in case you're wondering what I'm doing. 
just get rid of that long bit. There. And then sewing the rest up and doing a back stitch. So remember, I'm using yellow so that you can see the stitches. And the back stitch always looks nice and neat from one side and not so nice and neat from the other side. So this is the this is the not so neat side and this is the neater side. That's what a back stitch looks like because you're always going one back and two forward. And um that is almost like doing two running stitches on top of each other, so you're saving yourself going um going over it twice. It's a it's a really solid stitch, a back stitch. I use that a lot for doll making because it makes a really solid seam. Oh no, I'm gonna run out of thread. Okay, I'm gonna try and get that done. Come on, no, it won't do now. Why is this shorter? Maybe I've tried to go round at the beginning. Okay, I'm gonna just have to really, really wing this one here. I really don't want to just start another thread again. Just to sew it up. Okay, this will have to do. And cut this. Ooh, cut a bit of felt off as well. I told you I'm such a terrible sewer. Terrible, terrible. Right, so trousers now inside out. Oh no, I haven't sewn the middle up yet. Oh, it's like a skirt. Okay. <laughs> now, now you know why I'm not a dressmaker. Because I, I would um would think I'm making trousers and I end up with a skirt. So the one thing about Holly that I should mention, and I think I probably mentioned that in the instructions. So because Holly is wearing extra super tight trousers, for Holly's, um, if, if you've made large feet for Holly, you might not be able to fit them through the trousers. Hopefully you will. But if you don't, then you might have to um, might have to make the trouser legs a little bit wider at the bottom. So that is something that obviously. Oh, let's start here. I don't have to. Um, that's something you have to take into consideration. Um, yeah, because you don't really want to take her feet off to put her trousers on. But hopefully her feet aren't too big to fit through the trousers. Um, that's probably. So when I get to the other side of that V, then that is the last bit of sewing. No more sewing, which means it's the cutoff for Emma to pick the winner of today's competition. And just to remind you, in case you joined extra super late, um, today is the 8th of November. If you're doing watching this live on um, our YouTube channel, then you've still got a chance to win by putting your comment into the comment running commentary here and tell us how Holly is hiding her pink hedgehog spikes from her dad when he walks through the door. That's Homer. If you're watching this on Thursday the 10th of November, same goes. You've still got the chance to win a wool mix to make the Christmas tree and the presents. And um, in a second, as in I'm finishing the stitching now, um, you all the all the comments that have been submitted will now go into the draw and no new comments can be added into it to be considered for the draw. You can comment, but you definitely won't win. Right, that's it. Competition closed. Oh, we're in December, apparently. <laughs> okay, we're in December. It's the 8th of December, not November. I do apologize. Right, turn these trousers inside out. And um, and that also goes for Thursday. It's the 10th of December, not November. We've left that behind. Right, there's the set of trousers. Um, all ready to be fitted onto Holly. Hopefully um, they will fit over her feet. Um, so I, I I don't want to really take her feet. Um, her sh Maybe I should fit it on Heather. There's my other Heather. Mm -hmm. Come on, Heather. Oh, there's a naked Heather there. Um, this, these are Holly's trousers, but I'm fitting them onto um, Heather now to see if um, the feet fit through there. Because um, you might have to, um, you could also just have this, have it um, a little bit more open at the base. I think her feet will just about fit through there with a bit of a push. Never said it was easy to dress a hoggy there. Yes, feet fit through. So if you if your feet are no bigger than the ones that I, um, I've, 
I've told you to do in the instructions, then you will be able to fit those trousers on Holly without her without having a problem. Now, because Holly has got shorter legs, obviously those trousers will be um, a little bit longer on her. This is Heather now wearing the trousers. And um, and then to roll them down to make that sort of low waist, you just really just fold them over because the felt will just sort of model itself around the person wearing them. Heather, I, if I was you, I would definitely not try to squeeze in your teenage daughter's trousers because... Um, they obviously don't fit you. There we go. Okay. So, I'm just going to go on to the big cover because we have got a winner. And um, the winner of today's competition is Jane. Jane, well done. Lovely. And of course, this is Tuesday, the 8th of December. And um, on um, Thursday, the 10th of December, December, not November, we have got somebody else who we don't know yet who that is, um, but that will be um, put into the comments as, as today. This is also in the comments. So I hope this has given you an idea, certainly, of how to make the clothes. Remember, in your instructions, you have also got, um, you've also got Holly's top. Um, you've got, um, we've done, we've done Holly's trousers and you have also got um, in here, Huey's dungarees, and then you got a special extra bit for his pocket, and he keeps all sorts of things in his pocket. You've got Homer's shirt and Homer's trousers, and don't worry if they look a little bit like squarish. They do model around your hoggies quite easily. Just, just pull them into place and give them a little tug. Um, embellish them however you like. Um, design make your own design of them it's entirely up to you and i am reliably informed that we actually have got um a, a couple of mchoggy packs left the christmas edition so if you really like the idea and if you want to give um um a hoggy a home or four then um do go and get your hoggy pack now from our website um and obviously you can rewatch all the live streams as well to do with the hoggies and they um it will take you step by step through making the first hoggy uh, which was heather which also applies for all the other hoggies oh i've got an itchy nose now from all this sewing obviously i'm allergic to it um and um you you will also um be able to follow the rest of um of the instructions with the clothes then we're doing the christmas tree and there is also a very special surprise on christmas day right that's um all from me today i will just read the last few of the comments um got other things coming up as well in the new year we're doing our polar bear three um three live streams of polar bear um, if you're still interested in the nativity, sorry, it's a little bit out of the camera, but there's the nativity here. That's a full nativity live stream um, available on YouTube as well. And the nativity kit is still available. This is a kit that we will be discontinuing. So if you want it, get it. Don't wait until next year. It will go. And um, similar with Father Christmas, you can make him still. Um, we've got the kits for him. If you need to know what our makers boxes are in, in December, we have got the kitten in the basket where you can make the kitten and the basket. Um, nice fireside um, decoration. And we've got the snowdrop um, sprite. There she is with her dingly dangly. Can you hear that? Oh, she's lost her bell. Well, there's a, there, she has two bells. Don't know. Oh, there it is. She has two bells, one to hold in her hand and one uh, to go inside the snowdrop. And uh, you can make her from our fairy box. And then we have got our surprise box um, in December is, um, I think it's called Sparkle. It's got obviously lots of sparkly stuff in there. So, um, well, not sparkly stuff because we have a product that's called sparkly stuff, but it's it's just general sparkly stuff. Otherwise it wouldn't be called sparkly, sparkle. Um, okay, I'll stop waffling now. Right, so anyway, thank you very much. Oh, I was going to check who's there. Uh, okay, uh, just very quickly. Um, oh, thank you, Alicia. Steffi, you haven't had a day off in ages. You can give yourself a break for having goldfish brain. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, 
if I even if I had had a day off, I still would have um, goldfish brain, I think. But it's um, thank you. It's nice to have an excuse, even though it's a fake excuse. Um, Adele says, I love how you can change the clothes. I can see me making loads of different outfits. Oh, there is an idea. A color for every day, seven rainbows. Yeah, that's it. You've got seven colors in your rainbow pack, seven outfits. Excellent. Um, um, Holly will Schaefer spikes. Oh, Betsy. Now, hadn't thought of that. Um, I'm hoping, um, Alicia says, I'm hoping we will do an Easter theme with the hoggies. Thinking Easter hats and bunny onesies for you oh that that would be nice with ears <laughs> uh trisha says another way to secure the thread at the start is to use the loop where the thread is doubled and pass your needle through it when making your first stitch excellent that's this kind of advice that i need because um as you have seen i am a terrible sewer bridget says oh easter bonnets how special we could have matching people hats ah i think you're getting into the whole hoggy uh, wardrobe here. Emma says she will put her face mask on the top of her head. <laughs> That's a really good idea. Um, Bonnie Allen, um, uh, Bonnie says, sorry, I'm thinking Halloween outfits. I can see Holly as Catwoman and Yui as Jason with a hockey mask. Oh, brilliant. Um, way to go, Jane. Definitely. Well done, Jane. Congrats, Jane. Everybody's congratulating Jane now. All beach themes, swimsuits, old-fashioned ones, of course, with summer hats. Right, I think I should have asked about different outfits for the hoggies. Might have to do that yet, because that's obviously hidden earth here. Um, wow, thank you so much. I never win competitions, so this is lovely. Thank you again. Jane, you are deserving of it 100%. This is a first I actually finished before Steffi. Ooh! <laughs> I've been a bit chatty today, I suppose. Uh, oh, you, yeah, you definitely need wardrobes and chest of drawers for their clothes. Ooh. Ta-ta. Ta-da. Not saying anything else. They could be standing up. Okay. Um, I'm going to go now because I have nothing more sensible to say, so I should just say goodbye. Take care, everybody. Um, stay safe. And, um, yes, and tune in again next um, Tuesday at 1pm to make a Christmas tree and um, love you lots. Bye bye everybody.